Hi. I'm doing this video for a distant relative who wants to know how I did uh, this historical hairstyle. I plan on wearing this at the Southampton Renaissance Fair um, at the end of April. Um, and if anyone comes out, I will be more than happy to show you how I did it in person. It literally takes like five minutes. It's no hair product. There's no hair ties or anything. It's so amazing. Um, this is how the bog body was found, by the way. So if you do use a hair tie or pin or product, that's totally up to you. You don't have to be exactly um, accurate. It's such a simple hairstyle. Uh, so I'll post a link in the bottom of the description so you can see the bog body. Now, viewer discretion advised, it's a dead body. It's, you know, mummified. It was preserved in the bogs. I believe it was found in Denmark, one of the Scandinavian countries, I'm not 100% certain. The link is in the bottom. Um, and if you want to see others, uh, you can just Google bog bodies or list of bog bodies. I think Wikipedia has a whole list and you can just skim through them to look at a men, female, um, I think maybe even little children. but the. The ones who have their hairstyles still preserved are the most fascinating to me um, because they did their hair so ornately. It's amazing. So anyway, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you. First though, I must say, um, I wash my hair with soap. Like I make soap, so I use my own soap um, to wash my hair with and then I rinse it with vinegar sometimes. So if you use hair products or modern shampoos, your hair is going to probably be a little bit more uh, slick than mine. Um, it may not hold as well as my hair because um, historically they washed their hair with real soap also. So the texture is probably more accurate. Anyway, that... If you have trouble, most likely it's because you're using modern products, and I'm not. Anyway, so here we go. You start by pulling your hair up and just like a half ponytail. Okay. I'm going to pull this hair to the front to keep it from getting tangled up. And then you're just going to do a simple braid to about halfway. I just washed my hair last night, so my hair's a little wispy. It works better um, after the second day, really. Or I only wash my hair about once a week, so the oilier it gets, the easier this is. Okay, right, so that's about right. Okay, so you have your braid. Now you're going to add the remaining hair. Not a French braid, you're just adding the rest of the hair. Um, so I'm going to add this portion to this section. Okay. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. I in two minutes. Okay. I'm going to add this section. And then the middle piece is going to get what's left. All right, so I'm just going to drop that and grab it. Well, I try to pull it tight because I like it tight. But all right, and now you just finish your braid. Make sure you grab. You know, there's no hair down. You grab it all. And I have to pull it around to the front. It's a workout. Okay, so 
I braid it all the way down, by the way. Um, and as I'm braiding, I can feel if a piece is, doesn't have as much hair. I like it to be equally proportioned, but you don't have to. Um, like this piece feels really thin, so I'm going to grab some of this and just split that to add to it. But you don't have to do that. I'm just OCD like that. Almost there. Almost there. I have very long hair. Uh, I believe the woman that they found, her hair was 90 centimeters, and I'm not sure how much that is, so I'll, I'll probably look that up. I'm American. We don't do some, no, we do centimeters, but I'm familiar with inches, so I'll have to Google it. But it goes all the way down and braid it to like my belly button. All right, so now this is the part. You're basically going to knot your hair. Um, which sounds horrible, but it comes out so easily, but it holds so well. So, I hope y'all can see me. So here's this spot, right? And it creates, I hope I can, if you try to do it gently so I don't pull any of my other hair. So it's got a little loop there, right? You see the braid? Loop. So you're gonna take this and pull it through, all right? Hold your finger here. Pull it through. All right. You got your little loop here. You're going to pull your hair through that now. And I'm pulling it tight. You know, like I'm pulling it tight. It's not pulling any of my hair on my scalp. It's so gentle. There's no tightness or anything. I love it. All right, so that's the first knot. Now you're going to do the same thing again, depending on how long your hair is. You just keep doing this type of knot. Under. All right, hold your finger there. And pull. I can usually do three. So I'm going to go in for the third. Under. And through. Now, all right, now I've got this little tail left. Just find a spot under and pull it through one of those previous loops. Um, let's see, you can do it in the front, here we go. We're just going to stick it right through here. There's a little space right there, I'm just going to stick it right through there. Jam it in there, and then I can fill a spot in the back, so I'm going to stick it in there. Not sure if it's going in or not, but it's coming back out. Are you done yet? Almost, but... Are you done yet? Okay, hopefully. And now, this is it. I hope it's done, but it keeps poking out. That's okay. All right, and so gravity is going to slowly push this down and the weight. I'll post better pictures of it if this one doesn't look that great. But gravity is going to push all of those little slip knots down, and that's what helps hold it on itself. And that's it. I've done yard work, I've done housework, I haven't exercised with it yet, so I don't know if it can handle jumping up and down, but I spent an entire day rearranging my chicken coop and moving these huge boulders, and no flyaways, um, nothing came loose, I've slept in it, and woke up the next day, it held, and to, to get it out, if you want to undo it, um, it's not difficult at all. You just take that little top knot, this is the top one, you just pull it, and that's it. It comes right um, done. Now if you don't want to do the complete bun, you want to leave the tail, that's perfectly fine. There's actually little figurines of um, Viking era. Um, 
Freya, which is a goddess, or Valkyries, um, some other spiritual beings that they believed in, um, with their hairs knotted like this. A knot is very common, and it might the braid might come undone. Um, you can put a little product at the end if you don't want to use a hair tie. Some bodies were found with uh, pine resin on the hair, so I mean they use things also, or you could tie it. You know, little piece of leather band if you want to be more accurate historically. But modern wise, a little uh, clear elastic will hold it just fine. But hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.